up at night you're giving me all that i was trying to find you around baby you my valentine i gotta let it give you give you all of mine
adulting video i'll be sharing how i paid off my consumer or credit card debt i was able to pay off my 290,000 credit card debt last november 13 2020 it was friday the 13th but i felt so lucky and yes i used my 13th month bonus at that time to finally clear off my remaining amount it was in 2017 when my credit card debt started to increase. I think I was in my quarter life crisis. I feel tired and sad all the time and retail therapy became my coping mechanism. I started using my credit cards to buy things I don't really need and just paying the minimum every month and after a few months, the compounding magic blew up my credit card debt. When I started to get tired of my life, I tried to find ways to have a side hustle so I can pay off my debt. At that time, Shopee was just starting to gain momentum, so I opened an online shop and started selling my old books. Then, after gaining fake customers, I started reselling new books as well. I will try to search the internet for international sale of books that offer free shipping to the Philippines, and I also bought from Foodbook. At that time, Fully Book was only selling through their official website, so I took that opportunity. At first, my target market was customers from provinces that want to buy books but they don't have a Fully Book branch in their area. Then I started to get a lot of orders from Manila as well for self-help books. So I started to shift my target from best-selling fiction to non-fiction or self-help books. I started to get my orders from doctors, lawyers, and young professionals. So I realized my customers are people who are already earning money but are time poor. After a year of doing that, I don't see any significant decrease in my credit card debt and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It was around October 2018, I was still drowned in consumer debt and more tired because now I have a side hustle. I was randomly scrolling Pinterest during a lunch break looking for some dopamine fix when the algorithm randomly showed me a cute board about Dave Ramsey's baby steps to clear off debt. I started to research about it, I checked testimonials from people who actually followed the baby steps and they're claiming they were able to clear off their credit card debt in just two years. That research led me to discovering about personal finance community in Instagram. I also learned about FIRE or financial independence, retire early. I don't follow all of Dave Ramsey's steps because I don't agree to some of the things he's teaching but I still want to thank him because if not for that Pinterest board that I saw, I will probably still drowned with consumer debt or maybe I should thank the influencer who shared that aesthetic Pinterest for it. November 2018, after all that research, I made a promise that I will be debt free by November 2020. I feel like all the learnings I got for a month is enough to start and I'll just learn along the way. For my online shop, I started reselling K-pop albums as well. At that time, I was still working on midshift from 2 p.m. to 12 a.m. I will wake up at 6 a.m. then go to the customs or fill, fill post in Pasay to get my orders then go to work after. I don't do this every day because I don't get much orders but adding K-pop in my online shop really increased my income and helped with my credit card debt. That's about the summary of my depressing journey to being credit card debt free. It was an expensive way to learn how to manage my money but I'm just happy about what I learned. Let's go to my tips on how to pay off your credit card debt. Tip number one, promise not to buy useless stuff using credit card. Books are still allowed as long as they're self-help. You can also still use it for buying groceries and paying bills as long as you're paying off what you spend every weekend. To do this, leave your credit cards at home. I will only get it when I use it for groceries. This will help me in setting a good habit of only using it for groceries, bills, and things I really need. In my case, I actually cut up my two BPI credit cards and just left the cashback credit card. Create a budget. 
I created two separate videos about budgeting. Contrary to what people think, creating a budget will actually give you freedom. Make a list. Before going to groceries or whenever you're going to a mall, create a list of what you're, you're going to buy so you won't get tempted to buy something you don't actually need. Avoid triggers. Reflect on the things that make you want to shop and avoid them. This is why keeping a journal or just reflecting on your budget, expenses, and net worth monthly is really important. Also, find alternative ways to relieve your stress. In my case, I started working out and spent more time with my hobbies. Tip number two, build your basic emergency fund. This is part of the Dave Ramsey baby steps. The original step was actually 1000 USD, but I felt like it was too big for me at that time, so I opted for around 30k pesos. So the amount for this could be different depending on your current situation, but for me at that time, I felt comfortable with just 30k basic emergency fund. Since your goal is to pay off your debt, it is important to set up an emergency fund so that you'll not lose your monthly streak of paying off your credit card debt whenever an emergency comes up. Our goal is to keep a habit of managing our finances well. Tip number three, find ways to increase your income or create a side hustle. It doesn't have to be a unique idea. You can check what your passion or interests are and start from there. For example, in my case, I like reading books and I like K-pop, so I started reselling them. It's also easier to market them since you are already familiar with it and you are also a consumer. Tip number four, try to sell anything you own. Sell things you bought that you don't really need using credit card. Try to research the price you can set for your secondhand items. It's going to be a painful process since you learn how much you can only charge for a specific item you bought, but that's part of the learning process. Tip number five, use snowball method to pay off debt. This is another tip I got from Dave Ramsey. The process is to rank your debt from lowest to highest amount. Example, your debt for credit card one is 45,000. Credit card two is 15,000. So you'll focus on paying off credit card number two first, then just pay the minimum amount for credit card one. Once you're done paying off credit card two, you'll move to the next card. The main reason behind this process is that by focusing more on the smallest amount, you'll get immediate results, so you'll be more motivated to continue the debt-free journey. Tip number six, budget and track expenses and net worth monthly. Again, I'm going to prom promote my two older videos related to budgeting. Tracking your expenses helps you stay on track with your budget. Checking your net worth monthly is a helpful metric to see if you're doing great with your goal that month. Tracking my net worth monthly when I was paying my debt helped in motivating me to go on with the journey. I can see a significant increase in my net worth every time I try to pay my debt more. So it motivates me to try to find ways to save and earn more money so I can pay my debt and see my net worth increase. Now that I paid off my credit card debt, the question is how to stay debt free. It's still a daily battle against temptation. I only have two tips on how to stay debt free. First, use it like a debit card and pay off your balance every weekend. Second is to set a rule that if you can't pay your credit card on the weekend, then don't use it. Bonus tip, call the credit card company to waive your annual fee. If they decline, tell them you'll just close the account. After a few minutes, they'll tell you they have reconsidered the request and will waive the fee. Taken, so can I fall in love? 
Can't take the hand and give up My mama told me don't talk to people you haven't met I guess my mama was right But it's not cause everybody you meet is dangerous Fact cause they'll break your heart Cause she plays it so cool making up her own rules And I'm a loser for thinking I've got Any shot in the dark now it's hitting me hard Tell me what am I supposed to do Cause I've got an internet crush She's not a celebrity but she's taken So can I fall in love? Can't take the hint and give up I've got it Falling in love 